What's up guys, it's TechNewby here and today we're showing you how to jailbreak iOS 5.1.1 which recently came out a day ago or I believe two days ago by Apple. So this currently only works on the iPhone 4 GSM and CDMA models, the iPhone 3GS, the iPod Touch 3rd generation and 4th generation and the iPad 1st generation. So the iPad 2, the new iPad which is the 3rd generation and the iPhone 4S are not compatible so don't update to that for unlockers this is not yet updated to support your uh, baseband so don't um, do this jailbreak yet and that's about it also this is a tether jailbreak meaning that if you were to turn off your device reboot or if your uh, iDevice were to uh, lose its battery you're gonna need your computer again to uh, turn it back on so all the things will be in the description right now we're just gonna be using Red Snow so once you have Red Snow open right click on Red Snow the EXE Go to properties, go to compatibility, and make sure this uh, run this program in compatibility mode is checked, as well as run this program as administrator. Once you got those checked, click apply, then click OK. Right click again on Red Snow and then click on run as administrator. We're going to get this window here, pretty um, familiar, and move that to the side. We're going to click on jailbreak. Make sure your device is connected, make sure it doesn't say any other device that might be uh, connected somehow. So it's going to tell us to make sure our device is connected and turn it off. Right now I'm going to show you that I am on iOS 5.1.1. So no tricks here. This is my iPhone 3GS. So there you go. Camera zoom um, focused on. And you can see it's on iOS 5.1.1. So let's turn this off and begin our jailbreak. Alright, now that it's turned off, make sure your hand is over the home button and be ready to click next. So the first tip is going to tell us to um, hold down the power button for 3 seconds. Then hold on to the home button for another 10 seconds with the power button. Alright, and then let go with the power button and keep holding on to the home button for another 15 seconds. If you do happen to mess up, don't worry, it's not going to cause anything. It's just going to tell you to retry again, and you should be able to do it. Alright, your iDevice screen should be um, lit up. On your um, monitor, it should be saying preparing jailbreak data. That's going to give you the option to install Cydia, install custom bundle, install iPad Basement, and deactivate. Right now I'm just going to install Cydia, click next when you're ready. So it's going to say waiting for reboot and your iDevice should uh, come up with the image of a hard drive with a green arrow pointing downwards. Alright, should say rebooting. You get this um, little text show here. on your um, window it should say done just wait for it to finish up here and then we'll click back because this, we still got a few more steps to follow while this is going on um, pod 2g has been uh, kind of debating whether to release the jailbreak for iOS 5.1 or 5.1.1 not right now or to wait until iOS 6 comes out so um, there's been debate how people were saying that if we wait for iOS 6 there's a possibility that the jailbreak might work others might say that maybe iOS 6 might be a new type of uh, software update that you know the jailbreak won't work on so um, who knows more uh, the majority of the people are saying to release the jailbreak for iOS 5.1.1 but um, we have yet to see what Pod 2G's final decision is. I'm currently stuck between the two decisions because, you know, who knows, maybe iOS 6 is still vulnerable to the jailbreak that iOS 5 is. So who knows? It's not going to affect me because I'm going to be um, away from home. So hopefully the jailbreak will work for iOS 6 whenever it comes out. All right, so now we got our um, iDevice rebooted up. I get the dismissive battery warning. 
and you should see Cydia but it has a white icon and if you tap on it it'll just boot you back to the home screen so what we're gonna do is go back to red snow click back if you were to exit the window that's fine just go back to extras Hold on, let me get rid of that so let's just say you did accidentally exit out of red snow just click on extras and click on the first option which is just boot so when you click that it's gonna tell you to make sure your iDevice is plugged in and turned off so let's do that again so turn it off alright once it's turned off we're gonna do the same steps that we did before hold down the home uh, power button for three seconds hold down the home button for another uh, ten seconds alright and then let go of the power button and keep holding on to the home button for another 15 seconds. And like I say, if you mess up, don't worry, you can try again. It's not going to mess up your iDevice. Right, exploding, explode. <laughs> yeah. Alright, you can let go of the home button now and let Redstone finish its job. Waiting for reboot. Your iDevice should be lighting up, or its skin should be lighting up. You should get the pineapple logo. I should say done and so now <coughs> the rest of the work is on the iDevice itself so let's just end the video recorder here now let's move on to our iDevice all right let's slide to unlock Kinda slow here. All right, dismiss. We should get Cydia. If you still have that black uh, blank icon, don't worry. Uh, when you go on Cydia, it should be saying preparing file system. It's gonna close out when it's done. But yeah, that's pretty much it. You're pretty much done with the jailbreak. This is a tethered jailbreak, like I said in the beginning, meaning that if you were to turn off your device, your battery uh, happens to run out, or if you need to reboot, then you have to use Red Snow and use the option Just Boot and redo the steps from there. That's the only drawback from a tethered jailbreak, so it's not recommended you do this on your primary device, meaning your primary phone, your pri primary iPod Touch or iPad. I suggest you only use this in case you really need the jailbreak or if you're just testing it for uh, whatever reason if you're the developer or something I'm not sure but yeah just a fair warning to those who are not familiar with a tethered jailbreak storage I'm um, sure done oh yeah I have a few videos scheduled to be released um, I believe every Friday or so because I will be busy throughout these few months I'll probably reveal it what I'm doing um, somewhere around July if things go well if not then I'll just stick to what I'm doing right now which is doing YouTube videos but hopefully I can uh, finish what I'm gonna start doing now and hopefully uh, have a better future but I don't want to get too into it I'm just gonna stay close to what I'm doing this video so I'm not gonna try to get off topic here and I'm just gonna wait till Cydia is done um, and so long when it needs to be installed I might want to have to jump cut this because it usually doesn't take this long so yeah okay looks like they didn't have to alright slide to unlock and go on Cydia you still get that blank icon, just uh, respring. It's not gonna. It's different from rebooting, but uh, you should be able to get the uh, normal city icon. So you can see there, city is loading, kind of slow actually, but and there we go. Let it changes. And yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. That is how you jailbreak iOS 5.1.1 on your iPhone 4, GS7, CDMA, iPhone 3GS, iPod Touch third generation and fourth generation, and the iPad first generation. That's about it guys, if you have any more questions please post a comment, if you like this video please click the like button, and if you want more see videos like these, please subscribe. 
Also, stay tuned for more scheduled videos that are coming out um, these coming weeks. And yeah, thanks guys for all the support you gave me so far, and I really appreciate it. You have no idea how much. But uh, yeah, I'm not gonna talk. I'm not. <laughs> I'm gonna stop talking right now, and uh, I'll let you um, do this jailbreak yourself. But yeah, guys, that is the jailbreak, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.